The South Florida Times is speaking with Leo Gray, one of the original combat pilots with the famous Tuskegee Airmen. And his aviation program, which he founded at the Boys and Girls Club in Fort Lauderdale. Tell us about the program. Well, this started, well, it'll be two years this coming September that it got underway. We were trying to get a program in aviation going for, for young folks who were often overlooked. And uh, usually when they start youngsters in aviation, they're 15, 16 years old. But we decided to dip down into the elementary school level. And we have been bringing the youngsters in, giving them information and instruction in some of the basics of aviation industry. And uh, the children have been extremely receptive and we've taken them on field trips throughout the area and they've made fantastic impressions on everyone they've talked with. And what has been the response from some of the parents whose children are involved in your program? Almost unbelievable and they see the children for, for one thing when they get in the program they might be a little unruly and wild when they start out but in to get into the program and to stay into the program, they have to give evidence of a substantial amount of discipline and behavioral uh, characteristics. They are no longer wild little children like you see these elementary school kids just go all, do whatever they want to do. These children are very responsive. They became very, they become very, um, very disciplined. And they have a sense of uh, identity and even leadership because they, they work with one another and they're very close. And take us through the steps that the program would take the youth through, beginning when they first arrive in the program to the end. Well, when they first arrive, we get them with some of the fundamentals, find out who they are, what they're about, and of course they don't have much information about the aviation industry. But we teach them some of the basic concepts about the uh, some flight pat characteristics, flight patterns, so they know they, they build model airplanes and uh, aviation exposure and the ambiance. Um, now they learn how to build uh, airfields and control towers and learn about uh, uh, safety with the fire trucks and so forth and uh, the general operation of the airfield. They build a whole airfield right there at the, at the center mm -hmm. and operate it. In, in the demonstration projects and they've been out to uh, on, on field trips and they, they work with computers and with elementary uh, simulated model flying aircraft and then we have larger simulators which are more realistic for the more advanced students so when they get in they, they get a full exposure to aviation and they, they know more about aviation than a lot of people that are out there working in, 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 in And this program, if a parent w wanted to enter their children in such a program in the private sector, what would that cost? Oh gosh, it would be very, very expensive for the nature of the programs that we're, we're doing. I have no real awareness of what the, what the cost would be. But if you want to fly, for example, I think it, um, a while back, I don't know what it is now, but a while back it was at least $60 an hour to, to, to go out in, in, in a plane and uh, but that's just instructor I don't know you have to pay probably for the fuel and it's a very very expensive proposition hmm. now the the ground school training is something that's separate they get a lot of ground school exposure type training with, with this program we can do that even though they can't go up here yeah, they're too young both to go up and uh, the elementary schools the students but uh, when they get older, well, we haven't had too much. We had one older youngster who was old enough to go up in an airplane, but for some reason or another, he, uh, he got sidetracked. Mm -hmm. And he missed his uh, opportunity to fly. Okay. And your program, this program that you founded at the Boys and Girls Club, it is free. Yes. Is there any cost to the students or no, the parents? No, they just come in there. As far as I know, it's no cost to them. They join the Boys and Girls Club like anybody else. I think it's $40 or something like that a year. But that's the fee they, they pay. But this is all one of the programs being offered by the club. 
And tell us some of the organizations that are offering support to your program. Well, we have support from the Bank of America, uh, Spirit Airlines, uh, Rick Case, the big automobile manufacturer, um, Tuskegee Airmen, uh, giving some support, the Miami chapter of Tuskegee Airmen, and uh, the other individual supporters that have made some major contributions to, to, to the effort of the Ionosphere Club. And what are the age requirements for your program? I think they have to be, uh, I think this, is it 14 to 18 to go in there, but I think there's some younger than 14, I think. The, some are third and fourth graders in the program. And what was the inspiration for you beginning this program? Youth, trying to reach the youth in our community. It's, it's a very, uh, it's been a very difficult um, task to reach into the community and make them aware of Abbey. See where the Nan Knox Boys and Girls Club is on uh, 832 uh, 2nd Street. It's not near anything aviation. Those young people rarely ever see an airplane because planes taking off from Fort Lauderdale International Airport or Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport or Pompano Airport, they don't fly over the area. So it's nothing that would come into the mind of uh, young people there to even think about aviation. But years ago, I, I was trying to work with the Broward Sheriff's Office and the library to start a Civil Air Patrol program to reach into youth. After the uh, Devil Dogs that the Marines had, they had a youth program going in the community. And they had some leadership problems that led to the dismantling of that program. So we started trying to get a Civil Air Patrol unit going there, but it had absolutely no cooperation from the people in the community, none. Mm -hmm. And uh, they wouldn't respond. They, I went around to all the churches, and they all gave me very positive information about they're going to support. We had a big open house, and not a single person, zero, came to our open house effort. And uh, so we had to abandon it because of a lack of support. And I was working with the Fort Lauderdale Composite Civil Air Patrol Squad, and we had some youngsters from the community come into that. But uh, then, the, I've been out of that for a while, and after the, at the Air and Sea Show, I think it was the last Air and Sea Show, I met uh, Fred Perry from Bank of America. We started talking about prospects for getting a youth program going, and he mentioned the Boys and Girls Club. I said, well, we could get an aviation program going there. And uh, one thing led to another, and uh, I contacted Ms. Virginia Knudsen, who was a, uh, she was a major in our, our Civil Air Patrol squadron, an extremely talented, dedicated young lady who has all kind of uh, capabilities. And uh, I found out that she might be available to, to help direct the program, which as it turned out she was. And so we moved forward with that, and, uh, and lo and behold, we were able to kick it off a year ago this past October. Mm -hmm. And what would you like to say to the students, and what would you like the parents of students to know if they wanted to join or was interested in this program? Well, I would say for the students to get your act together, come on down to the Boys and Girls Club, and let Ms. Knudsen know who you are and demonstrate to her that you are willing to do what it takes to become a positive citizen of this country. All right. Thank you, Leo Gray, for the South Florida Times. I'm Elgin Jones.